Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin and I'm doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker, okay? And um, yeah, y'all, it's Monday morning. And uh, trying to get the day started. Y'all already know, if you guys haven't seen the video already, I probably would have already put it up a little earlier than it should have really come out because you guys know my vlogs are two days behind intentionally because it's just easier for me to edit my vlogs. But this particular video, I wanted to get out a little bit sooner, so I'm probably going to put the video up from when I went down to the Ferguson um, uh, protests. I'm probably going to put that up earlier. So if you haven't seen it already, definitely make sure to take a look at it. Um, the reason why I put it up a little earlier was because I felt as if it was really, really important to kind of get the word out as to really what's truly going on down there. I think people have this impression that the people that are looting are the same people that are protesting and it is not the case. It's certainly not the case. And there are just people that are out there that are just opportunists that are taking advantage of the situation at this point and that's what's causing so much more havoc than there needs to be out here. That being said, um, take a look at the video if you haven't already checked it out. Um, it'll definitely give you an idea of what's really truly going, going on out here and um, shed some more positive light as to what is truly going on and what people are really doing to take a stance to actually um, fight for justice and um, Anyway, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but definitely check out the video if you haven't already. Um, it should be a vlog or two ago, and the title will give it away, so check it out when you have a chance. Um, didn't sleep at all last night, at all, and um, I fell asleep for like maybe an hour the minute I came home. It was almost like an adrenaline rush and then a crash and burn. So I fell asleep, and then I woke up like an hour and a half later and couldn't go back to sleep. It's just when you're down there and you're able to see all of that and feel all of that and the emotion and everything that's going on, it's... Um, and then you hear the reports from the news and how they're reporting it, and then you know what you saw and you know what was really going on because... Um, the, the news reports are giving different information and what's really going on down there. Some is true, a lot of it's not. So um, it's hard to sit with that, you know what I mean? But um, got up hella early this morning, really, and just, you know, started watching the news because the autopsy results have come out as of last night, okay? Um, and people would lead you to believe that the autopsy results has caused a lot of the riots and things, the looting, because there was more looting last night. Um, and that is certainly not the case. The, 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 the autopsy results came out, but it was after the looting had already started. Um, and now there's been a press conference about the autopsy results and stuff like that. And I'm sure you can look it up if you guys haven't already looked it up already. But anyway, it's just a heavy situation. It's a very um, sad situation. I'm, and I'm just trying to kind of wrap my head around it and to see it, you know, firsthand ourselves too. It was... Um, it was heavy. It was heavy. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week. Keep everyone out here, especially Ferguson, in your prayers. Um, and thank you guys so much for checking up on Juice and I, too, because um, a lot of you guys were worried that we got stuck in all of that, which we were there, you know, when some of that stuff was starting. But um, we were able to get out before the crazy, crazy, crazy stuff ensued. So um, thank you guys so much for that. But anyway, about to have me some coffee. I got to shoot a couple of videos today, as you guys can see. I look a hot ass mess, and it's just because I'm just emotionally a hot ass mess, to be real. Um, so we're gonna try to get this day started, but I do have some videos to shoot and stuff, so I'm gonna get those done today, and just see what today brings, y'all. Juice is at the JOBB, and it's back to business as usual. What's up, y'all? Okay, so managed to shoot a few videos today. Juice is at the JOBB, and uh, he's actually in the family room watching TV over in the corner right over here. But anyway, um, our eyes are, of course, on the news as par usual. Anyway, I wanted to try another recipe, okay? So I'm on a roll. I told y'all I'm going to try at least, I told y'all a long time ago, I was going to at least try to do at least one new recipe. I'm going to try to say once a week, if not every other week at the very least, okay? So last week, you guys know I did the stuffed zucchini boats, right? And showed you guys that. And a few of you guys have actually made them and tagged me on Instagram. So if you guys do make them, tag me on Instagram. I love seeing it. A couple of you guys also tagged me on Instagram for the um, um, the lettuce wraps that I made a week or so before that. And today we're going to be doing onion crusted chicken. Never tried it before in my life. Not really sure how it's going to go. However, 
We're going to give it a try. Let's see. Here we go. I needed the mayo. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you guys essentially need. You guys already know I am probably more than likely not going to um, type out all the menu items. But what I will try to remember to do is send you, or is um, put the link in the description box of where I got it from because I actually got it from the... Um, the Hellman's Mayo Company's website. It's literally called Onion Crusted Chicken. So if I don't remember to put the link in the description box, comment down below to remind me, but I'm gonna try to remember. Either way, I'll show you most of what you have to do to do it, okay? So, you need mayo, which we don't have a lot of because Juice has been eating it all week, breadcrumbs, and uh, plain is what they said, and I already had them. I wanted to work with stuff I already had at the crib. I didn't want to have to go to the grocery store to buy nothing else, and y'all know I already had chicken that I'd purchased, but it was frozen. So I just seasoned it up just a little bit with some, um, uh, what is it called, garlic, pepper. What's that stuff called? Hold on, I'll show you guys what it is. It's something that um, Jessica told me about, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. This is the thing that I've told you guys that um, Jessica has told me it's really, really good, and it's not super high in salt or anything like that, so it's like really, really good. Yeah, 100% sea salt, so it's good for you. So she's recommended this. That's what I put on it, right? Because I always like to pre-season my meats if I can, right? And then the Lipton onion mushroom soup mix. It says onion mushroom or onion soup mix, but this is what I had. Like I said, I didn't want to go to the So that's basically all I need. Let's see. Ha -na -na, ha -na -na. <laughs> Na, na, na. This makes essentially eight boneless, skinless chicken breast halves, and I have five. So because I don't have much in um, mayo, this might actually be a beneficial thing. So here's what you need. One envelope of the Lipton onion soup mix, okay? One cup of plain breadcrumbs. Two-thirds of a cup of the mayonnaise. And of course, your chicken, that's it. It also says to preheat your oven, so I'm gonna go ahead oops, and start the process of that. I think it says, I think it says 450. Hold on, let me tell you. I think it's either 425. You have to heat it to 425. So let me go ahead and do it the right way. 425. I'm gonna turn on this light over here. So oven at 425 is what you need. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically what it says, preheat the oven to 425, combine the Lipton recipe um, soup mix and the breadcrumbs in a shallow dish, set aside, toss the chicken with the Hellman's mayonnaise, which I had a feeling was pretty much gonna be the coating, and um, dip each of the coated chicken breasts in the onion mixture, turn it on all sides, and that's basically it. You're gonna bake it, that's it. And you're gonna bake it for 20 minutes or until the chicken is thoroughly cooked. Not too bad, right? Easy. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm going to do what I'm going to do as a side now that I'm sitting here. I might just saute some spinach. We'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and get to coating. All right, y'all. Here's what it looks like. I don't know if this is going to work. Shit. Y'all know I don't cook a lot of chicken intentionally, specifically chicken breasts. So I guess we're going to see how this goes, y'all. Look. Yeah. Scared. Okay. Crazy news. I'm in the basement doing some laundry and Juice is upstairs talking to his brother. Just letting him know like how everything went yesterday and we literally just found out that well if any of you guys had been watching the news yesterday um, a lot of you guys were hitting me up on Instagram saying you guys were watching MSNBC if you guys were watching MSNBC you guys would have heard that there was a person shot down at the um, protest yesterday after things got crazy and we actually know who that person is it was someone it's actually one of our friends one of juice's friends and um anyway we just found out like literally just found out thankfully they're okay it was a bullet that ricocheted off of a stop sign and it ricocheted off the stop sign and hit her crazy here's what's even more insane i have been thinking about her since i saw her yesterday we saw her down at the at the protests sat down with him for a long period of time and um, just talked about everything that's going on. Um, we were all there together in solidarity, obviously, you know. And um, when we left, um, 
you know, I said, you know, guys, be safe. Are y'all getting out of here? Like, are y'all, you know, are you, y'all getting ready to go? Because we'd all been down there for a while. It was getting dark. And we already know what happens after dark. There's the chaos that's ensued this last few days. So I said, you guys getting out of here? You know, you guys going to be leaving soon? You know, what are you guys going to do? Because it's getting dark. And I talked to several of them, several, several of our friends that were there. And, um... Her in particular, I just had this funny feeling about, which is why when I spoke to her, I was like, you know, really persistent on her leaving. Like, I was like, you know, come on, y'all kind of need to get out of here. Come on now. You know, it's getting dark. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. You know, and it's crazy when they were walking to their car, a bullet ricocheted off a stop sign and hit her in the arm. Thank God she's okay. And I mean that to say as in she's not. It hasn't disabled her in any way, shape, or form. She's not dead, deceased, you know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't do major damage, but, you know, it's scary, you know? It's real out here, y'all. It's and I, and I know this last few vlogs, I feel so bad. Everything has been like, blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's just, but this is the environment, you know? And oh, it's just crazy. So anyway, we're, you know, say some prayers. Please. I know you guys are saying prayers, but it's crazy. We were literally just sitting with her, and this didn't happen but a few minutes after we left. And um, anyway, I'll tell you guys more as time goes. There's so much more. Um, not to that story, just in general with the whole thing. But anyway, um, yeah, thank God nothing else happened to her. But y'all, that just goes, it's just, it's, it's real out here, man real so anyway I just wanted to share that with y'all because we just found out ourselves and we're like oh my god you know so we're trying to get in touch with her so you know we can send our love and we were just with her that's what's so crazy anyway I just want to tell you all that all right y'all so it's not the prettiest thing in the world but at least it gives you an idea of what it looks like after it came out the oven we got our potatoes which you guys already know we always make really messy I just microwaved them no big deal then this is pieces of chicken. I, of course, you know, I cut through the chicken to make sure that it's cooked all the way through because I'm anal retentive, so it's not going to be like a full piece, but actually this is like a piece and a half. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, what up? It's your boy hanging out today. Eating a little dinner. Whew. My wife cooked this new uh, little chicken recipe. I don't know what's in it. What you think? But uh, so far, so good. You like it? Yeah, it's good, man. Just uh, just some, got some chicken here, some some breaded chicken. Mm -hmm. Breaded chicken with some barbecue sauce. Now, he was on the phone with his brother, so he didn't really see what I did to oh, make yeah. it. Like he usually does. He'll look over my food mm. when I'm making it to see what I put on it. Good stuff. Nice and tender and juicy. It's juicy, right? I, 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 that's the part yep. that I the potatoes. suck at with chicken breast is good. not making them too tough. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. You like it? Yeah. We'll get more chicken. Yeah. Bet. It's nice. <laughs> Stuff is good, y'all. You like it? Yeah. Uh, where's the wine? <laughs> what wine? What wine? The wine you were just drinking a minute ago. Oh, see what had happened was, um, it was like a little bit of wine, like left in the bottle. Oh, is there more left? And so, no, that's what I was talking about when you were over here oh, on the phone. I was damn. like, man, we can go get a bottle of wine. So we can watch our shows. You, you didn't go get one? No, because I was doing laundry. Oh. I was cooking and doing laundry. So. The one time you do laundry. You, can't... you know what, motherfucker? Ah, don't don't even do man. that. I do laundry, damn it. Oh. Asshole. What'd you think? You like? Good. Made it with some potatoes. Yeah. And we're having it with some barbecue sauce. It's really good with barbecue sauce, y'all. And ours is kind of like a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. It's really good. It's actually a newer barbecue sauce we're trying out. And it's delicious. So. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, delicious. The chicken, surprisingly, I'm done with my food. You see my plate, empty. Bam, empty. I was starving, and I didn't taste the meat. You know how when you make food, you taste the food to see how it tastes, and then you lose your appetite. I intentionally made it a point to not taste anything so that I wouldn't lose my appetite. It is delicious. Stuff, and ain't, mm. stuff ain't spicy, is it? What is it, the chicken? It tastes a little, little kick no, no, to no. it. You the sure? barbecue sauce has the spice in it. It was you, you chose the barbecue sauce. It's sweet and spicy. <clears throat> yep, you chose the barbecue sauce. That was you. But anyway, chicken is fire. And you only really need, for real, 25 good minutes and that's it. 
You gonna be okay? You got water here. Gotta go. All right, y'all. So I decided <clears throat> to come over here and get some more of this stuff. One, cause I'm hungry. And two, cause this shit is good. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm glad to see everybody's is liking my wife's uh, cooking so far. I saw a few people uh, say they were using that that zucchini recipe, and uh, you know, have some pretty good results with it. So. If y'all like that, maybe y'all try this and see if y'all like this. If not, it's just more for me, so no big deal. <laughs> but yeah, let me eat round two right quick and hopefully my wife will go out and get some wine tonight. Okay, so how am I supposed to have leftovers if you keep coming back up in this motherfucker to eat, man? That wasn't planned. This is his third serving, y'all. Yeah, the plan wasn't to have leftovers. The plan no, the plan was to have leftovers so I don't have to do that shit every fucking day, dude. Dinner. Man, y'all saw I made five chicken breasts. How many have you had? This is your third? Yeah, third. See? Yeah, and I gave you a chicken breast and a half the you first time. You got two more left, so you're good. This motherfucker. You got two more left, so you're so you good, trust me. Uh huh. You won't start with that. Uh huh. Uh, but keep talking, and I'll take those off your hands, too. You talking shit? I said, you know, I said, you keep talking, and I'll take these off your hand, too. Uh huh. So keep talking. Whatever. And I'm gonna keep eating. <laughs> Okay, so we just got done shooting the unboxing video. Finally, after all of this time, we have been sitting here like wanting to dig through this box for the last freaking forever, okay? And we promised y'all we would do an unboxing, and we did. Um, we were supposed to do a Real Talk Tuesday video, but we actually had a friend come over here. He actually um, came over like in the middle of a shooting, so couldn't get to the Real Talk Tuesday, but I am still um, wanting to get your requests and stuff like that, so I put out a request on Instagram. So I'm still getting some of your questions, and we're gonna shoot that so we can hopefully get that out next week. But we got the unboxing done, and probably by the time you guys see this video, if you guys um, haven't seen it already, check it out. It would have already been put up by, by the time this video comes out here. Um, but anyway, the stuff that's in this box is off the fucking chain. Like, I... I'm sitting here grinning ear from ear, ear to ear. I had no idea there was that much stuff in this box. No idea. Like, did you, you see Juice? He over no, here, over here uh, inspecting it. Reading all the directions, man. Some of the stuff, hey, <laughs> you got to know what you're doing with this stuff. You can't just break it out and go to work. You got to make sure you know what you're doing. Y'all, one of these items is, they're all fucking phenomenal. And hilarious, and it's awesome because we had no idea what was in the box. So, yeah, he all in this box, y'all. He is, man. Gwen just made his damn day. He made both. She made both of our day, week, year. This is the stuff that's in this box that you haven't seen already is phenomenal. So, anyway, thank you, Gwen, so much for that. Oh my God, like, I'm still like my cheeks are still sore from smiling as much as I was in the video because. It's awesome, and I cannot wait to use the stuff that's in the box. One of them I already put out. Where'd I put it? I already put out. It's over here. Well, I can't show y'all because you just need to watch the video. But one of them I put out here, um, and uh, I'm going to look at it tomorrow so I can inspect it. I don't know if I should look at it or not. Anyway, this is awesome. Anyway, thank you again, Gwen, and that video will be out soon. If, if it hasn't been up already, I'll let you guys know somewhere with some kind of verbiage or you'll see it on this channel. If not, it'll be up very soon. This man over here is still looking at the box. He's looking. He's checking it out, man. Uh-huh. He, he over here looking at instructions out, and though. everything. He's <laughs> he, he over here doing all kinds of stuff. You gonna have fun with some of the stuff there? Oh, yeah. Hook it up. For real, y'all. Like, no lie, no joke. Hooked it up. Like, there's stuff in here we didn't, I didn't know you could fit this much in the box. The box is heavy, but I mean, anyway, just watch the video. If it's already out or has, or is coming out, whatever. Anyway, it's a, it's been a long night. Um, um, by the time you guys see this video, Lord knows what will, what will have happened by then. But um, random update on the stuff that's going on in Ferguson. Just in case you guys didn't already know, they called in the National Guard to come in late last night. They called them at two in the morning, so they're here. They've been here since early this morning, right? Yeah. And what time is it now? Like? 10.50. Oh, oh, damn, we missed the news or whatever. But anyway, it'll be all in anyway, I guarantee you, yeah. 
I am so curious to see what's going on right now in Ferguson, but we've been at, you know, like here shooting and stuff like that. And then our, we had a friend come over randomly to say what's up. So, um, anywho, look at my baby and his booty. Anyway, so the National Guard is actually here. So we have, well, I'm just curious to see what's going to happen with the National Guard, if that's going to cause more chaos. They are doing some serious, um, they're changing up some serious shit around here. So I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, schools right. are not even going to open. Like for a week. They postponed it for a week. Look at you. In Ferguson, yeah. He's over here trying to get everything back to back to normal. No, That's our little makeshift no, hey, light. Hey, hey, check it out. Uh, you know, last night the protest went peaceful and everything, but my friend got shot. Yep. Yeah, she got shot in the arm. Uh, girl I grew up with, you know. Here, hold that was, girl I was friends, I'm friends with, I grew up with. She got shot in the arm last night, and she was uh, walking back to her car. It's actually happened about 10 minutes after we left her, heading back to the crib ourselves. Mm -hmm. But she was walking up West Florissant and I guess uh, somebody fired a gun. The bullet hit the stop sign and ricocheted off the stop sign and hit her in the arm. I think it grazed her somewhere else too, but she's in the hospital. You know, she was in the hospital uh, late last night. I think she went home or something this morning uh, and they got on Percocet. And I think the bullet is still inside her. Is what she last said, so That's I don't know if she's gonna get it out today or not. But we'll check on her. But she's gonna stay at home for the next couple of days and just recover. But uh, it's, it's, it's sad that that happened, and uh, it happened just about ten minutes after we left her, and when it started to get really dark last night, and uh, you know, we started seeing the cops move in and you know all that stuff taking place. So we just had to get out of there, and uh, so did she. But. Uh, she was about 10 minutes behind us and got caught with one of those uh, ricocheting, ricocheting bullets. So y'all, make sure y'all say a prayer for her and uh, make sure she gets a, uh, hopefully she'll get a speedy recovery. And uh, yeah, it's just crazy, y'all. Just how it is right now. It's nuts. But, uh, you know, I guess we're about to check out this news and uh, just kind of see what happens tonight. Because tonight, we just don't know, man. It might get worse. It could get better. We don't know. Um, but hopefully things will die down and get better, and so we can uh, move along and see what happens. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down for the night and uh, check out the news. So for me and the wifey, yeah, bro. we're gonna be out. Yes, it's about time to shut it down. So we're gonna catch up and see what's going on on the news and shit, and uh, hopefully there's not too much craziness going on. We're kind of curious to see how um, the looters are going to react to the National Guard being there. I don't know. They don't seem to be playing. So, well, we'll, we'll see. Hey, you got you got some people out there. You got some guys out there, some young guys that uh, they ain't afraid to take it to these cops, man. You know, they hey, it's, they ain't going away quietly. They, they prove it. They've proven that all week. they still proving that. And uh, the National Guard is coming in tonight. I hope those brothers kind of Hope those brothers settle down and don't do anything stupid. But you got guys out there right now that just they ready to take it to them, man. It's you know it's scary to find out what may happen. But uh, that's why we're gonna tune in tonight and just kind of keep an eye on it. But I hope things die down and they don't uh, try to test the National Guard, man. Cause they ain't playing, y'all. We saw them out there. They got tanks, manpower, firepower. They ain't playing, so hopefully everybody's safe tonight, and you know, hopefully we won't be hearing nothing tomorrow morning. Let that us pray. It's uh, bad news. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm out. The wifey is out. I am too. So yeah, y'all keep it, keep everyone out here in your prayers, and stay tuned. Where well, I don't know when it's gonna be up. When the video is gonna be up for this unboxing, but. Just stay tuned for it. It'll be here on this channel and you guys will love it. And also I did do a natural hair update video too, in case you guys haven't seen it. It's on the Beauty Fashion Lifestyle channel, the other channel, um, which is always linked down below. So if I don't put the link to the video directly, just check out the other channel. But I did show you guys what my hair looks like without weave, without weave, with just my, me and my natural hair. And I also showed you guys a lot of the products that you guys have been asking me about and also, gave you guys a little bit more information about the frustrations I've had with my hair and the decisions I'm trying to make with it. So anyway, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check that out. And I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hope everyone's having a great day, great week. 
whenever y'all are watching this shit up and through here, and y'all, I had to come in here because, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj done came out with a new song or whatever.